Hey, just wanted to uh, pop in real quick before this video starts. Uh, the sun is setting here in LA. I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit before. Um, for those of you who may be new to this channel, uh, new subscribers, first of all, just let me say welcome. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, but over the last eight months, I've been recovering from a pretty bad breakup uh, with someone who's also popular on YouTube. And for all my viewers who are coming back and have been sticking with me throughout this transition, just wanna say thank you again so much for the uh, continued support can't say it enough, but it means the world to me. But I just wanted to preface this video by kind of trying to universally address all the uh, questions and comments you guys might have had in regards to the subject. Some have been loving and supportive, which I'm truly grateful for, and uh, some have been actually pretty hurtful and pretty hard to read. I'm sorry that it took so long to get this video done, but what I don't want you guys to forget is that I'm human, you know, just like you guys, and uh, unfortunately, uh, this process it took a little bit of time for me to kind of go through it and sometimes it takes a little bit more time to process some of these more uh, complex emotional You know situations that, uh, that you know I've been going through but I also understand what comes with living a public life And I want to be able to give you guys uh, what you deserve as far as you know what comes with that you guys deserve have a little insight on uh, what's been going on and how I've been feeling what's been happening and how I've been handling it so you know without further ado Here's my dirty laundry video. What's up guys? Hope you're all doing great on this wonderful day of whatever day you watch this. I am going to be doing some laundry while I talk to you guys today. I know you guys have a lot of questions and you know I would love nothing more than to fulfill your curiosity but I just want to say that I appreciate the concern for my feelings from those of you out there that are persistent with those questions. I see what you guys are saying you know I read through the comments and I, I want to be able to give you guys answers as much as I can but you know there's still things that I'm unsure of things that I don't know about. Um, you know, I, there's a lot that goes on that I find out on the fly, and you know, I, I've never tried to figure that stuff out. There's times where I really just try to disassociate myself too, and sometimes, like when I do try to get away from things people are telling me, or I'm just getting, you know, it could be anything. It's just I open my phone and something's there, and it's like, you know, that's not as easy to kind of digest as I, I, I hoped it would be, but um, that's sometimes the reason for me kind of just being like, you know what, I'm going to put the phone down. It's not because I, I can't read that stuff, just it's because there are things I don't know that I try to just keep out of my business for the respect of her and what she's doing. The only way for me really to like escape all of that would be to just like deactivate my social media, my accounts, get off YouTube. Um, you know, out of sight, out of mind type of thing. And I, I'm not, that's not, not someone who I am. You know, I'm not, I'm not letting a situation control the way I feel about myself or the way I feel about my work or what I'm doing. It's just important for me that I kind of just do what's best for me and in my mind state. Because we were like one big happy family, um, you know, I, I don't, there, the things that you guys want to know, I want to be able to tell you. I just, I, I'm, I don't even, there's things that I don't even know that are happening that are brought up and I'm like, what? It, it just throws me for like a mind f because I'm like, I didn't even know this stuff was happening. I'm trying to do my best to move on and focus on me. I find out like you guys do. Uh, and at the end of the day, I, I have this as a problem in my life too where I'm trying to better myself from it because it's the first time in my life this has ever happened to me. Um, it was the only relationship I've ever had, so um, all of this is new. I would love to be able to tell you guys that I have the experience of knowing what to do in these situations, but the truth is I don't because I don't have the experience. And, you know, this was my first relationship. She was my first true love. So because of that, I, I was moving throughout these last what, eight to 10 months, I was, I was moving in a way that I've never moved in my life as far as just the person I was because it was putting me through such a change that I just, I didn't know how to experience, I, I didn't have the experience, excuse me, I didn't know how to 
can control myself. I just did what I thought internally was right and I didn't do anything. I kind of just sat back and I wanted her to be happy so I did what I had to do to try to make that happen and it just didn't work out in my favor. So it's just something that, that, that that's the way that I go about my life right now is just worrying about me and the people in my life that mean something. Obviously I haven't talked to her in a long time but it's just even going through you know the, the the process of really understanding how she felt in, in the first couple months of this happening, I, I did everything I could to try to fight, you know. I don't know how else to really say it, guys. I'm sorry, but I, uh, it wasn't easy for me. And that's kind of why I went a little MIA, because I didn't really know how to... I, I mean, at the time I was making videos, but it was like, oh man, it was hard. It was really hard. I couldn't... I, at that at that point at that point I was still under the impression that we were work, trying to work things out. And I, you know I fought I fought to try to make that happen, and uh, you know I, it didn't obviously work out. So it took me some time. You know I had to take some time to myself. It seemed like the harder I tried, the more that I tried to express how I felt to her, the further it pushed her away. I think that's what really gets me uh, now that. You know, it, it, I feel like we could have fixed a lot of things and it just, you know, it didn't work out like that. So, she, I, you know, she's on her path to happiness and um, I'm on my path to mine. Uh, doesn't mean it's going to be the same trajectory. You know, she's found somebody and I'm, you know, I'm happy for her, but you know, I'm, I'm just taking my time and I'm just going to enjoy my life and, you know, fall in love with myself again. So, and you guys. You know, guys, I'm not perfect, all right? Could I have done things better? Of course. Did we have what it took to live a happy life forever? From my end, hell yes. And I, all I really wanted was, was just a happy life with a happy wife and, and children and, and, and the whole shebang, just a, a comfortable person that I could look at and be at home with wherever I was. It doesn't matter if I was actually at home, doesn't matter if we were on the other side of the world. That is how I felt about the relationship. But it's got to be two sides to that. And I lost myself inside of love, inside of loving someone more than I love myself because I set expectations for myself in that relationship and even on YouTube that I did not meet. Doesn't mean that I, I can't meet them, but it's just something that was the effect of my trying to be perfect. And the lesson there that I've found is that, you know, when you try to, to please everybody and you do everything you can to do that, you realize that at the end of the day, you don't really please anybody. And that's what this has really taught me is to be there for myself because during the times that I was, I just, I just lost sight of myself. Uh, you know, I'm sorry. You know, I, I, I didn't want that to happen. I didn't intend for these things to happen, but I was just trying to be her perfect and the perfect boyfriend, the perfect future husband. And what I'm also realizing too is that in order to be the best person for somebody else, you need to be the best you. I want to be at some point, you know, down the line, wiser because of this, smarter because of this, stronger because of this, a better person because of this, to myself, because I wasn't a good person to myself. It just seems so fixable, you know? And what, stuck, what, what really hurt the most was just not having the ability to go through this and then really adjust to be the better, the better person. And, and go into something again knowing what you know. What I do know now is that, you know, I'm not gonna let this one experience of feeling what I've felt dictate how I conduct myself and anytime love appears back in my life or, you know, comes back to me in the future, I mean, I know how good of a guy I am. I know what I offer. And like I said, I'm not perfect, but I know that my not perfect will be the closest thing to perfect for the right person. I, I don't know it all. I know what I don't know, trust me, but I, I know more 
about myself now and how to react and how to conduct myself in certain situations or communication, you know, all the little branches that come off the big tree of love and relationships and how to be good for your partner. And, you know, I am I'm thankful for that. If there's ever been a point in my life where I felt alive, oh boy, oh boy, it's been the last 10 months. The most alive I've ever felt in my life because I went through hard transition. And I never knew what that was like. What I want the most out of all of this is for one, two, you know, two years, three years down the line that I could look back on this and say that, you know, even though it sucked, even though, you know, going through that type of stuff has been um, a really hard and rough uh, change, that it's okay. You know, life, life isn't going to be the way that you want it all the time. And I think that's the best lesson that we can get with our lives. And even you watching this right now, I know you could relate because there are times where you expect something to go a certain way and it doesn't. And I think that's the universe trying to tell us to keep our expectations at bay and always just do the best we can and learn from, um, learn from mistakes, learn from these situations it doesn't have to be something like this. It could be anything, but just just to take take what what you learn, the feelings you feel throughout these changes, and to you know get stronger and use it as 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 food for your brain and food for your self confidence and finding out who you really are at your core because that is the part of you that is going to always you know, want the best thing for you and push you to get there. Because there's always gonna be bad days, there's always gonna be happy days, there's gonna be days where you feel kinda happy and then something happens and you're immediately sad or, you know, there, there's just, you just don't know because, you know, something could happen tomorrow that changes your life forever. So, just make sure you, you know, you, you take what you've learned in your past, you don't worry so much about what's to come and just live in the moment live for right now and do the things, be the things and surround yourself with the people uh, that really bring the best out in you and really want to see you do well with whatever it is you're doing in your life and allow people to teach you because what you learn you could teach to other people because I've learned a lot and I've been taught a lot throughout um, throughout everything you know throughout just since the, the first day of my relationship to the first day I was on YouTube to Realizing that um, I'm, I'm, a, I'm single <laughs> and to right now, you know, I've learned so much and I'm so grateful for those lessons because um, they really help shape you into a more molded and stronger personality that's going to allow you to be you in situations way better than you were previously. So. I'm sorry if I got a little off track here, but that's just, that's what I'm, I'm trying to take with this every single day. Um, and I hope you guys uh, can honestly just understand that it's, it's just not as easy as maybe some other people on YouTube make it seem. I know a lot of people are breaking up right now. It's crazy. It's like the friggin' year of the breakups, 2018. But, um, you know, every relationship is different, everybody is different. And as nice as it is to have, you know, help from other people, just don't think that, you know, just because their situation worked out a certain way that yours is the same exact way. You know, every, every single situation that has a problem um, and a solution at some point is, is different. It ha it's unique, it's not, it's not the same, nothing is the same. So you learn, you apply it to your life, and you put that out into the universe and that's really where I'm at right now and I hope you guys enjoyed the laundry session with me today and for those of you that can take this and use it to your advantage in your life that's that's the reason that I want to bring light to certain situations and just talk a little bit and open up a little bit about what's what I'm feeling and what's going on in my life as you guys know that's the theme for me for everything I just want to help so hopefully this can and um, thank you guys for, for taking the time to check this out. I'm actually going to stop saying this, but 
Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment, and don't forget to hit the post notifications on the top right of your YouTube channel screen.